This will be a tutorial on how to use Author, the extension for Fantasy Grounds. It assumes you know how to download and install the extension. If you've done that right, you'll see Author in the chat box that it loaded and the version number. So what does Author do? Author will allow you to bundle your story entries into chapters and even subchapters and into a book that you can read in Fantasy Grounds. For an example, I'll show you the Temple of Elemental Evil I've been working on for my group. Click on the reference manual link. Brings up the play reference manual. You can see each chapter with its subchapters like that. We can see the cover entry, which is a image in line in the center. If you click on it, it'll pop out. I'll right click it again and share to the players. You can also see the chapters, the subchapters listed over here. The darker ones are the chapters. The lighter ones are the subchapters underneath. You can see over here there's the upper level. Everything that's listed underneath the subchapter upper level is also a story that's underneath upper level. Lower level, same thing. Everything that was listed as a story underneath the subchapter lower level will show up underneath it. So now that you know what author will do, I will show you how to use it. There's a couple of things to remember with author. Groups, categories, and stories are how we create chapters within the reference manual. So this will be a chapter, this is a chapter, and this is a chapter. And in each story underneath that group category will be underneath the chapter of this. To order them in a specific way, we put numbers in the front so that they show up specifically how we want to. Same thing goes for the story entries. Both of them will need it. When it is exported, these numbers, as long as it's numbers and like period, it will trim those out so that they don't show and make the reference manual look kind of cluttered. Another feature is subchapters. Subchapters work like chapters, but they're underneath a chapter. So anything after a subchapter will show up within it. To set a story as a subchapter, you would select at the top right, there is a toggle option. It is near the read only lock. You can set it on or off. If you turn it off, you'll see that the story goes back to black. If you select it, it'll go purple. If you have multiple subchapters, everything between each subchapter will be within that subchapter. So upper level will have from pool to barracks underneath it. And then the next one, the lower level section will have stairway arch all the way down to the credits all listed in the lower level subchapter anything that you link in a story entry like in this case you can see this is a image will need to be exported if you link to another story entry or to encounters or tables that kind of stuff any of those will also need to be exported as well To make an image show up in line, what you need to do is make sure you're, that they're separated. Right now, the way I have it set up is that if the images are not stacked, like this here for the lower level entry, story entry, it will show both maps in line and allow you to click on them. Now, if you change that to where they're like that, Neither one of them will show up as inline, but the links will still be there. You can manually click on them within the reference manual. In this case, I prefer it to show them inline because I can still click on them the same way. At this point, we will be exporting the work that we've done here. Type slash export. List out all the exported data types. You'll notice that there's a new one, reference manual here. 
And you need to remember when I said you need to export all the things that you link within the reference manual need to be included here. Some things you may, you may not include in the reference manual, but you'll still want them so that whoever uses the module will have access to them. While using author, you can click the letter A up here and it will select everything. We click it again, it'll turn them off. In Fantasy Grounds version 3.3.7 and above, they are going to be adding a select all, deselect all buttons here and here. And so you can select it that way. And I will probably rem uh, remove the A button there. And once you've selected what you need, you can click export. And what author will do is it wedges itself in between the export process and creates the reference manual index. And then the export process will include that in the module. In this case, it's called ADND Temple of Elemental Evil .mod, so that you can view it whenever it is done. At this point, you would need to log out of Fantasy Grounds, close it, and start it back up if it was a brand new module and you've never done this before. If you've exported it before and you're just trying to change some things, you should be able to see it in your library as a module that you can load. In this case, it would be right here for me. In your case, it may be different, but that's how you use Author.